Hey friends, it is Jenny. Welcome to Gardening with Creekside. It is our weekly nursery update and we're in the new greenhouse. This is, remember, kind of our production area. Um, and we have got some exciting news. We got about 1,300 new plant babies on Monday. And so I cannot wait to show them to you and kind of explain that whole process. So behind me are shrubs that are just growing and happy. We'll get to those in just a minute. But first, here are all of the baby shrubs. All of these here are shrubs. They're not perennials, they're not annuals, they are shrubs. So the vast majority of them are in these um, quart containers. So this is a quart. All of these plants came from Spring Meadow Nursery. They are the main shrub supplier for Proven Winners. So everything that I'm going to show you right now is from Proven Winners. So the whole process, you know that Creekside Nursery, we are the grower. We're a grower and we're a retailer. So this is part of the growing side. And this is an investment for us, obviously, um, because we're going to take this quart size hydrangea this particular one oh let's dance blue jangles one of my all-time favorites new one this year for us it is a fantastic really petite hydrangea with these gorgeous um, mop heads on them of course they're blue um, they are ph dependent but anyway i digress we're going to take this put it into a three gallon container speaking of a three gallon container so you get an idea. Okay, so this is a three gallon. So we're gonna take the quart and we're gonna put it in a three gallon. These may be ready for the fall, definitely for the spring. So all of these, some of them will be ready to sell for this fall. It just depends on how fast they grow and if they root out in time, um, but they'll definitely be ready for us in the springtime. So everything I'm gonna show you, and I'm not, we're not gonna go through all of them because there are, you know, 1300 of them but i just wanted to show you um some uh, some of the ones that we got um of course the candy corn spirea y'all love candy corn as much as we do this is a fantastic one because it has such beautiful foliage on it and again y'all you know this this is the garden tours the nursery tours so if i tell you something um, just write down what it is then go to provenwinners.com and it will tell you all the information. These are really informal videos, so we're not gonna throw up all the plant specifications as far as zones and height and sun and shade and da 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 da. Provenwinners.com, just put in candy corn. It'll pull it up, tell you everything you need to know. Um, gorgeous azaleas, look at this. This one is, ooh, Perfecto Mundo Double Pink. So, super excited about these. Um, this different than the Bloomathons. Just, oh. And I wish, you know, of course I wish they were blooming so I could show you, but they're not, but that's okay. So we've got roses. Um, ooh, white butterfly bush. The Pugster series, you know how much we love the Pugsters. We've never done white before because sometimes white can be weird. That doesn't have the bloom. This has the bloom. Um, but white is so hot right now. So we went ahead and got the white Pugster, just a beautiful pure white bloom on that. Pugsters, remember, two by twos, love that. Um, lots more of the lemon zest, oh so easy lemon zest roses. Um, oh my gosh, y'all, so many neat things. Oh my goodness. Um, let's see, there's a new hydrangea and it is the sweetest name um it's a wee bit giddy <laughs> i don't know where wee bit giddy is but it's somewhere in here um we've got lower pedalums look at the foliage on this love it this is the jazz hands bold gorgeous big fat leaves on it dark dark color fantastic and of course amethyst pugster amethyst again Y'all love these Pugsters. This is the Amethyst, which is that nice kind of lavender color to it. Love those. Now, I want to show you something. Um, this is the Rose of Sharon. And, oh, this is a great opportunity to show you something that I really wasn't planning on showing you anything. But, all right, 
look at this. So this is the Rosa Sharon and this is the um, white chiffon, okay? Look what is on this balloon. Do you see this? Now, a lot of you, including myself, are dealing with these right now. These are the pesky little slugs and you can see what they're doing to the blooms and what they've done to the foliage. So, because it is so incredibly hot and humid right now, they are everywhere. And in fact, on our, um, yesterday on the social media stories, I posted one that was in one of our window boxes. They will do damage. They're not gonna kill the plant, but they just make it look unsightly. There is a slug and snail bait that you can put around in the soil. Um, and what they do is they go and they eat it. It's not harmful, it's not a systemic, the plant doesn't absorb it. They actually go and eat it and then it causes them to completely lose their appetite. So basically they not, they're not hungry and then they just kind of go off and starve to death. Um, went yesterday to try to find some and they're sold out. So if you can find some this time of year, grab it. Um, but this is what they're doing, they just that really unsightly damage. But all of that to say was, I wanted to show you this gorgeous beauty. So this is actually a four inch. This is a little bit smaller. This is what they had available. We grabbed it. All right, we're gonna tiptoe through here. My beloved Christine gave me this shrub last year. So imagine this turning in to this gorgeousness. Again, this is the white chiffon Rose of Sharon from PW. When Christine gave it to me, it was in a two gallon and I knew exactly where it was gonna go um, in our yard, in our garden, but that spot is not ready yet because that's where the new patio is going. So we moved it up to like a seven gallon. So she's been hanging out in this seven gallon for the last year and she loves life. I mean, is she not gorgeous? Remember the roses of Sharon can get nice and tall, but I just wanted to show you this gorgeous, exquisite shrub and say, this is gonna turn into this. So fun. Um, can you see why this is the production area? <laughs> this is the production area for everything. Um, oh, okay, speaking of roses of Sharon, I'm gonna show you one more. Oh, no, I can't show you one more. I gotta show you two more. Magenta. So this is the chiffon magenta. Oh, look at that. Look at that beauty. So again, she'll get the same size as the white. New for us, because I saw this and I was like, oh my goodness, have to have it. I already know where it's gonna go in our garden. Um, see if I can, this is pink ink. You gotta see Christine's face right now. She is just very, very happy. <laughs> Wait, my child. So pink ink, gorgeous, pure white on the outside, beautiful pink on the inside. Great by color. <gasps> gorgeous. So we've got those. We've got, oh my gosh, y'all. I just can't even. There's 1,300 of them. I just can't tell you all of them. Um, but we'll probably do a whole nother video um, when we actually start potting these up so we can show you and tell you more about them. Um, we got little limes, like this whole section right here is nothing but little lime hydrangeas because those are so, so popular. This whole row is lime lights. So right here are all lime lights. These are all Miss Molly's butterfly bushes. We've got, um, let's see, we've got some Sugar Shack. Sugar Shack is a fun one because, oh, here's Sugar Shack. It is a native, it is a type of, oh my word, I'm not gonna say that. It's Latin, forget it. Um, Sugar Shack is a great native shrub to this part of the country. It gr does great little balls that these are pure white, great smell. Just a really neat one, so look up Sugar Shack. Um, it is, it's a neat one. Okay, we've got, oh, the gym boxes there. I do wanna show you, come over here. So we're gonna leave those behind. We're gonna leave the babies behind. Come over here. Sprinter Boxwoods from Proven Winners. Look 
at these gorgeous beauties. So the Sprinter boxwood is a really neat, neat boxwood um, in that it is a fast grower. We put, these were in, I think one gallons quartz. I don't remember what size they were. We moved them up and they've been in this greenhouse and they are absolutely doing great. So very versatile, sun, shade as boxwoods are, hardy in zones five to nine, two to four feet tall and wide. So just a great, easy, easy care for the, for the boxwoods to grow. Super love that. We've got the little quick fires back here that are blooming, which is a great panicle hydrangea. Um, so we've got those. Let's move on out here. So now we're gonna come out here to the area, um, the shrub lot and this, the drippers are on. So it's gonna be a little damp. That's all right. We're gonna tiptoe through here. Um, I wanted to show you these crepe myrtles. Look at this. This is a crepe myrtle shrub. It is not a tree. Um, this particular one is bubble tea. I love the names on these because this is part of the barista series. So here you go. Here is your tag. Zones six to nine. They will get to be, let's see if we can zoom in on here, about three feet tall. But just a really pretty light lavender color just a great shrub so if you're looking for a crepe myrtle but you don't want the big huge massive ones consider some of these from the barista series just oh so pretty um and then there's like some more over here that we can see um as you can tell we've got the drippers going on right here we're going to tiptoe through here this one is i think probably the cherry mocha because it's got the hot pink Really pretty um, hydrangeas galore. They're everywhere. Then these are, ha, Christine, you stay there. I'll come to you. Um, so you know Proven Winners sends us the new introductions. Well, this year we actually got to get some of the new perennials for next year. So this is, you know how much we love the Paint the Town series. This is Paint the Town Fancy. And fancy, sure is fancy, because she is a bicolor. Love this Paint the Town. It is a perennial, so every year it comes back. It is a semi-evergreen, so even in the wintertime, you're still going to have some foliage. This Paint the Town has a great sweet smell to it, but I love this bicolor of fancy. So stay tuned for fancy. Um, in fact, in a minute, we're going to go down to the... Um, other part of the nursery and we just got some baby fancies so we'll be able to check those out so one last pan before we leave here it's a little wet we actually finally got some rain last night praise the lord it's been well over a month since we've had any kind of rain um, but I wanted to show you behind us behind me is how well the mums are doing. We're not going to walk over there because the grass is soaking wet and blah, 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 blah. But look at them. They are to the edge of the pot and some of them are coming over. So they are growing fantastically well. Remember we did a video um, just not too long ago talking about that whole mum process. So they're growing. They're going to be ready for this fall. They're going to be gorgeous. Okay. Now we're going to run down to the nursery because there's some things I'm going to show you there. Hang on. Here we are, we are um, underneath the pines. Christine and I just spotted a, um, we think it was an owl flying through the woods. We know we have owls here. Um, one, because you can hear them in the morning. So I think that probably was, um, we have screech owls right now. Um, and so that was probably that. I know we have also the big, um, what the great horn owls, because we'll hear them, especially in the wintertime, hooting back and forth. But 
I digress. All right, so obviously we're under here under the pines. These are all proven winners, proven winners hostas. We got a shipment um, from Walters Gardens because they are the supplier for proven winter perennials. So we got that shipment, I don't know, a week ago, 10 days ago. So these are all potted up and will be ready. These guys will be ready for this fall. So some fun ones is water slide. Water slide is a great hosta um, because it has that blue green foliage but it just has a real kind of a narrow leaf to it with a little bit of a wave. Really, really sweet, um, pretty hosta, of course, which we love. Now, this is a fun one. Remember how I told you about um, woo la la? We have woo la la also, but this one you gotta get just for the name. Wee! So this is the wee hosta. It is going to be the hosta of the year next year for proven winners. It is a great, um, again, wavy leaf on it, has some variegation on the edges with that creamy yellow. Um, it is going to be uh, Hardy and Zones three to nine. So again, I love, that's what I love about their hostas is that they're so versatile. I mean, you can go, my folks in Canada, you can grow these all the way down to like parts of Florida very very versatile um, but come over here so i wanted to show you what they look like when they first come to us so um all obviously these need to be potted up this is an autumn fern which if you've never had an autumn fern um, and this is not a proven winners this is a, a generic um, so autumn ferns are obviously a perennial fern they are semi evergreen. So even in the winter time, you'll still have your foliage on it. This is brilliant because the new foliage will be like a burgundy color. This is a semi new um, frond on it, but they get to be about two feet tall and they have a nice great spread on them. So they'll kind of come up a little bit and then come over. So they're not just completely upright like a lady fern. Um, they have a great little foliage to them and they're tougher. So where some ferns are really soft and delicate, this is a little bit more coarse, um, which helps um, with deer. Remember, deer don't like rough things on their lips. I'm not saying it's deer proof, but I am saying it is more deer resistant than other kinds. Now, this is Proven Winners Pulmonaria. Now, I've already had people asking if we're gonna have this because our beloved Laura, I believe, just did from garden answer just did a video where she added these to her garden so this is the pulmonaria from proven winners spot on so this is what it looks like as a plug when it comes to our nursery so because we are the grower we can get these and grow them out and sell them to you in a gallon size container um, hopefully these should be ready for this fall if not this fall they will be ready for the springtime Pulmonaria is a great another shade perennial, gorgeous sweet blooms on it, has that great variegation. Again, it's going to be more deer resistant because they're hairy, they're rough. They don't, this is even more coarse than like the Brilliance Autumn Fern. I mean, I can actually see the little hairs on it right now. So if you have deer that are a problem in your shade garden, you might want to consider this pulmonaria. Um, of course, then we've got some Eucharas. This is black pearl. I just think it's really interesting for y'all to see that this is what size it comes to us. So this is just that plug, and this is a good size plug. We can get plugs that are a lot smaller than this, especially with our annuals. So black pearl Euchara is a great one, and then lemon love Euchara. These two together, absolutely gorgeous. And both of these are part of that Velosa species of Eucharist, which are native to the Southeast. So very versatile, uh, very well adapted to our hot, humid climates here in the Southeast. So those are some ideas, things to whet your appetite for this fall and this spring. I do wanna tell you, if you see anywhere on social media, if you're starting to see things that you like, plants that you like, landscape designs that you like, one great thing that I do to help me remember them is because, like Jerry says, I have the memory of a gnat. I can't remember anything. Um, one, I have a gardening journal. A sweet friend of mine gave me this beautiful journal um, to help me take notes in. So with Lacey's journal, I am making notes, 
plans for 2021. Like what I want to do in my hanging baskets, what I want to do in this bed. So if I already have ideas, I'm writing them down so that way I don't forget them. Also, if you're watching videos like this and you see something that you really like and you want to remember the name, like that spot on pulmonaria, write it down and then put PW so you know that you can go to the Proven Winners website. Um, Creekside Nursery has it. Also on social media, when we just have pictures, like just a regular post, not a video, both on Facebook and Instagram, you can save those posts. So on Facebook, at the top of the post, there'll be three little dots. You can click those dots and it'll say save post. Save the post and then you can organize them. Like I have folders in my Facebook, whether it's about health and fitness or landscaping or whatever. So you can title your folders, stick it in there. On Instagram, you have the picture and then right below it, there's a little flag. Click the flag, again, the same thing. It'll save it and you can make different collections and put them in there. So for me, I have um, container ideas, shade plants, sun plants, hanging baskets, landscape ideas, all these different things so that you can save it and that way you're not trying to have to remember all these things. Um, and you can go back, especially in January and February when it's winter time and it's cold and it's rainy and it's dark at 4.30 in the afternoon and you need some inspiration, you can go back through and start making your plans. So it's never too early to start thinking of plans for next year. Save it. Even if you can't get it right now, it's okay. Don't freak out. Just that's the great thing about gardening, right? When you garden, you believe in tomorrow and that's what we're going to do here. So I hope you've enjoyed this kind of all over the place garden tour today um, here at Creekside. Make sure you like this um, video. Subscribe to Gardening with Creekside. Y'all have a great day. Stay cool. It's hotter than heck around here. Um, but hey, dog days of summer, before we know it, we'll be in blue jeans and sweatshirts. Have a great day, guys. Bye.